Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss one more example to implement Hamiltonian circuit using backtracking technique. Already in the previous session, we have discussed what is Hamiltonian circuit and what is Hamiltonian path, how to implement Hamiltonian circuit using backtracking technique by constructing the state space stream. With the same procedure, now we will discuss one more example to implement Hamiltonian circuit. And this is the given graph. So, for this given graph, we need to construct the state space to implement Hamiltonian circuit. So, initially, start with the initial vertex. So, here we will consider the initial vertex as starting vertex A. Okay. So, start with the initial vertex A and this is the initial state in the state space tree. So, this is the root of the state space tree. And if you are considering this graph, A is connected to three vertices. B, E and D. So, next level we can consider the path through A to B, D and E. Okay. So, what is Hamiltonian circuit? Hamiltonian circuit is nothing but start from the initial vertex and visit all other vertices in the given graph in any order exactly only once and return back to the starting vertex. That is nothing but Hamiltonian circuit. We already discussed what is the difference between Hamiltonian circuit and traveling salesman problem. Traveling salesman problem also same procedure only but here cost will be implemented for every age so that the traveling salesman has to choose the tour with the minimum cost but here cost is not given no need to consider the cost only the path is required whether for this graph hamiltonian circuit is possible or not we need to find and if it is possible what is the root that is the solution okay so here a to b there is a path through B, if you are considering in the sense, there are two vertices, F and C. So, B to C and B to F. Then, consider with C. C, if you are considering in the sense, G and D. So, D and G, we can consider. And through this C to D, there is a path and C to G. Next, consider through T. See here, state space tree, we have to construct depth wise. Whenever we are reaching the dead end only, we have to backtrack to the previous level and check for other possibilities. Next. From D, if you are considering, there are three vertices connected, A, H and C. In this path, A is already visited, C is already visited, so H. And through H, if you are considering, there are two vertices directly connected, E and G. And in this path, E and G is unvisited, so E and G. Next step, consider through E. Unvisited vertex here is F only, A is already visited, so visit F. And from F, if you are considering, unvisited vertex is G. And from G, if you are considering, there are three vertices connected, F, H and C. So, F is already visited, H is already visited, C is already visited. Okay. So, in this path, if you are considering in the sense, all the vertices we have visited exactly only once from the starting vertex A. But from G, you have to return back to the starting vertex. That is nothing but Hamiltonian circuit. But from G, you cannot able to return back to E. So, this will be considered as a dead end. So, backtrack to the previous step and check for the other possibilities. So, other possibility here is G. From G, if you are considering in this, sense, there are two vertices F and C. Here, unvisited vertex is nothing but F. So, visit F. And from F, unvisited vertex is E. Because B is already visited, G is already visited. Only E is unvisited. E. And from E, if you are considering, you can able to reach to A. And in this path, if you are considering, all the vertices we have visited exactly only once. And there is a possibility to return back to A. So, this is a solution. So, this is one solution. More than one solution is possible. Okay. So, backtrack to the previous level and check for the other possibilities. So, here if you are checking in the sense, A, B, C and G. So, A to B, B to C and G to C. And C, if you are considering in the sense, unvisited vertexes H and F. F and H. Okay. And through F, if you are considering in the sense, unvisited vertexes E. And through E, if you are considering in the sense, next unvisited vertexes H. Next, through H, if you are considering in the sense, what is this connected here is G and D. So, in this path, G is already visited. D is unvisited. Okay. So, visit D now. 
and from B, you can return back to A. And in this path, you have visited A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. All the vertices we have visited exactly only once, right? Now you are returning back to A. And this will be considered as another solution. That is solution 2. Okay. So now, backtrack to the previous step and check for the other possibilities whether one more solution is possible or not. Next, G to H. And from H, if you are considering unvisited is D and E. So, D is unvisited and E is unvisited. And if you are considering the vertex D, the vertices connected to D are A, H and C. H is already visited. A is already visited. C is already visited. All three vertices are already visited. Okay. But here, unvisited vertices are there. E and F is unvisited here. Okay. So, this will be considered as a dead end. Next, through E, if you are considering in the sense, H, E. And the vertices connected to E are H, F and A. A is already visited. H is already visited. F is unvisited. So, go to F. And from F, if you are considering in the sense, what is this connected are B and G. G is already visited. B is already visited in this path. Okay. Both is visited. But still, unvisited vertices are there in this path. That is, D is unvisited here. Okay. After visiting D, you have to return back to A. But from F, you cannot able to visit the unvisited vertex D. So, this also will be considered as a dead day. So, backtrack to the previous step and consider the next possibility. B to F. Okay. B to F, if you are considering in the sense, the what is connected to F or E and G? That is E and G. Both are unvisited. And if you are considering E in the sense, A and H are connected. But A is already visited. H is unvisited. Next, from H, E is unvisited. Okay. Next, from D, C is unvisited. Right. So, in this path, if you are considering, C is unvisited. After visiting all the vertices only, you have to return back to A. From C, if you are considering, vertices connected are B, G and D. From C, the unvisited vertex here is G. So, in this path, G is unvisited. Okay. Next, visit G. And from G, if you are considering F and H. F is already visited. H is already visited. And all the vertices already we have visited. That is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. All the vertices exactly only once we have visited. But from G, you cannot able to return back to A. So, this is also a dead end. Next, backtrack to the previous level and consider the other possibility. Okay. F to G. And from G, if you are considering in the sense, unvisited vertices are C and H. So, here from H, unvisited vertices are D and G is possible. Okay. So, from G, if you are considering, next unvisited vertex is G, unvisited vertex. In this path, if you are considering, C is unvisited. Next, from C, if you are considering, next D is unvisited. And from D, you can return back to A. Okay. So, this is one more solution. That is solution 3. Okay. Now, backtrack to the previous step and check for the other possibility. Next, consider through G. So, from F, next you are visiting G. And from G, unvisited vertices here is H and C. Both is unvisited. H and C. Both is unvisited. Okay. Next, unvisited vertices connected to H is E and D. E and D. And from E, the unvisited vertices, if you are considering in the sense, F H in this path, it is H is already visited, F is already visited. Okay. So, no more new unvisited vertices connected through vertex E. So, this will be considered as a dead end. Okay. You cannot able to reach the unvisited vertex from the vertex E. So, this is a dead end. And here, if you are considering in the sense, H to D and D to unvisited vertex is C here. So, in this path, C is unvisited. Okay. So, C here here it is unvisited and from C the vertices connected are B and G and in this path B is already visited G is already visited. So here in this path unvisited vertex is E. You cannot able to reach the unvisited vertex from the vertex C. So this will be considered as a dead end. Okay. And next, backtrack to the previous level and check the possibility through C. G and then C. From C, if you are considering, what is this connected here is B and D. B is already visited. So, D is unvisited. And from D, what is this connected are H and C. C is already visited. Unvisited vertex is nothing but H. Next, from H, the unvisited vertex are E and G. But G is already visited. So, unvisited vertex is E. So, from H, visit E. And from E, the vertices connected here are 
F, H and A. F is already visited, H is already visited. And in this path, if we are considering all the vertices, we have visited exactly only once. So now you need to return back to A. From E, you need to return back to A. There is a possibility, there is a path. So return back to A. So this will be considered as fourth solution. And here, if you are considering in the sense, starting from the initial vertex, we are considering the path through B. Okay, through B, if you are considering in the sense, we have implemented the state space free and we got four solutions solution one two three and four similarly if you are implementing the state space free for a to d through the vertex d and through the vertex e in the sense another four four solutions we will get it okay so for your practice implement the state space free through the path d and through the path e and find the solution okay here i will provide the complete solution if you are considering the path through b in the sense four solutions is possible that is a to b a to b b to c c to d and this path okay d to h h to g g to f and e and then e okay this is one solution and second solution if you are considering in the sense a to b b to c c to g this path okay c to G, G to F, F to E, E to H, H to D and D to E. This is another solution, second solution. And the third solution if you are considering in the sense, A to B, B to F, F to G, G to C, C to D, D to H, H to E and E to A. And similarly, fourth solution if you are considering in the sense, A to B, B to F, F to E, E to H, H to G, G to C, C to D and D to A. Similarly, if you are implementing through A to E and A to D, four four solutions are possible. That is S5 if you are considering in the sense A to E, E to F, F to B, B to C, C to G, G to H, H to D and D to A and S6 if you are considering in the sense A to E, E to F, F to G, G to H, H to D, D to C, C to B and B to E. Similarly, S7 if you are considering in the sense A to E, E to H, H to D, D to C, C to G, G to F, F to B and B to E. And S8 if you are considering in the sense A to E, E to H, H to G, G to F, F to B, B to C, C to D and D to E. Okay. Similarly, if you are considering the path through D in the sense, four solutions are possible. That is S9 if you are considering in the sense A to D, D to C, C to G, G to H, H to E, E to F, F to B, B to A. This is one solution. And A to D, D to C, C to B, B to F, F to G, G to H, H to E and E to A. And next step. A to D, D to H, H to E, E to F, F to G, G to C, C to B and B to A. And S12 if you are considering A to D, D to H, H to G, G to C, C to B, B to F and F to E, E to A. Okay. So likewise if you are implementing in the sense there are 12 Hamiltonian circuits are possible for this given graph. And this is the solution. Okay. Here I have showed the state space tree through the path A to B and through B. What are all the possible paths? I have shown the state space tree. Similarly, for your practice, you construct the state space tree through A to E and A to D and find these solutions. Thank you for watching this video.